everyone this is Ashley I would like to do a tutorial today on how to make a watermark using the GIMP program which is a free program that you can download online and I think that it's just as good or better than uh, regular Photoshop that you buy at Walmart or Meyer or wherever for like a hundred dollars so and um, I will do a tutorial on where to go to download that later but first I'm going to show you all how to do this um, I'm sorry if you can hear my heater I'm freezing in here so first of all this is the little emblem for GIMP and I'm going to click on that and open it up and this is what it looks like when it opens we'll move the toolbox so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to file new and this brings up uh, create a new image so here you can set your pixels or your inches millimeters points whatever you'd like to work with right now I'm just gonna put um, six by three and then you can change uh, portrait or landscape here and then click OK so it brings up your template here now the first thing we want to do when we make a watermark is to make this background um, transparent so what you're going to want to do is um, go up here to layer and then go to transparency you're going to want to add alpha channel so click that and then you're going to go um, to what is it edit and then go to clear and click that and then that's going to clear your background so these little gray spots or checks actually mean that your background is transparent so that's what you want now you're going to go to your text tool and click that and then you're going to draw a box where you would like your text and then down here it opens this little box where you can type um, your text that you want it to say so I'm going to put my name because it's going to be a um, watermark then you hit close and it brings this back up now here you can go to font and then you can pick what kind of font you would like to use this thing is slow today um, so I'm just going to use this and then here is where you select your size that you would like it to be and it doesn't really matter because you're going to rescale it anyway when you put it on your photo or wherever um, and then down here you go to justify and you can go to I'm going to do centered so that it's centered in the block so that's that now if you would like to add text under that now this is my companies called treehouse stamps so this is my website and um, down here it shows you what the text would look like but you know I don't think it matters but click that and I want to make this smaller so I'm gonna make it smaller and then there's um, where you can do these aligning and hinting and things like that and then you can make it to the left you know whatever but I'm gonna make it in the center again and then you can move it to wherever you would like it to be at and then um, you could change the color of the text every time you click on that it's going to bring up this box so let's say I like this color so I want to make it you know that all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and save this and when you click this this looks kind of odd compared to what you're used to but I always save things to my desktop and then later on I transfer them to files so I click desktop and then up here I type the name so I'm just gonna type Ashley watermark um, and then down here it says all images these are the different types of file formats you can use you want to do a PNG image which will leave your background as a transparent 
or make it transparent so that whenever you use it, it will only be the writing or picture or whatever you want. So hit save. And then I'll go ahead and show you this. Um, okay, so if you go to File, Open, and then, you know, you find a picture that you would like um, to add your little watermark, watermark to, then um, click Open. And it brings it up in a different screen. So you have both of these open. But I saved this to my computer so I could use it time and time again by opening it and using it the same way. Um, so right now you're going to go to edit and then copy visible. So it's going to copy this whole thing. Then you're going to click on this picture. and you're going to want to go to edit paste and it will paste it on there and then you can move um, sorry I just moved the whole picture but you can move that uh, layer but I think one of the best things sorry I messed that up um, that I have found to do is paste as new brush and this is actually going to make it a specific brush so I just saved it as a brush now I can come over here to my brush tool and it's actually a brush so I can use it you know however I would like to so you can make it bigger or smaller down here using the scale so that looks good Um, okay, now I'm going to click that brush tool again. And if you, you know, you can see how dark this is, you can't see through it. So if you'd like to make that a little more opaque, like you can go down here and click like 52% or whatever and see how that makes it a little bit clearer. Um, you can do that. And then there's all kinds of things here on the mode that you can change and you know play around with or whatever so and um, that is how you do that so I'm gonna stamp it down here and then um, you'll go to file save and then you find you save your picture with your watermark on there and then whenever you upload it'll be like that so that is how you make a watermark and use a watermark on a picture um, and make a paintbrush. So I hope I've helped you guys today and I will talk to you later. Bye.